Hello everyone, this is Benjamin from Tech Explained, and today I'm going to show you how to fix widescreen issues in Skyrim and Fallout 4. So recently I've purchased an LG 29 inch ultrawide, and unfortunately Fallout 4 and Skyrim are two examples of games that don't support the resolution. So we're going to have to do some manual tweaking in this video. So before you start, what you're going to need is to download the program Flawless Widescreen to help do a little bit extra support. And you're also going to want to, um, like, you're going to want to have a notepad. And if you really want, download Notepad++ to make the editing a lot easier. So first things first, you're going to want to go onto the documents in your computer. So you go into the documents folder and there will be a file called My Games. So you can just press M on the keyboard and it'll go to My Games. You're going to want to go inside here and find um, your game. So in my example, I'm just going to use Skyrim. So when you go inside Skyrim, there will be a file called skyrimpress.ini. All these other skyrim.raptor um, files won't be here for most people because this is just an AMD thing. But you're going to want to go into the one that's called Skyrim Press. Right click and press edit. You can just do that in normal text document. But in my example here, I'm going to edit with Notepad++. So, you're going to look inside here and there's just going to be a lot of words. You're going to want to scroll down until you find where it says I size H and I size W. So, I size H stands for the um, height of your monitor and I size W stands for the width of your monitor. So, you're going to want to change this to your monitor's resolution. So, in this example, I have a, a, a monitor which is 2560 by 1080. But if you're not sure, I'll show you how to check. So you minimize your window. You can minimize this as well. You're going to right click, go to display settings. Wait till this opens. Go to advanced display settings. And it will show you your monitor resolution here. So if you go back to the notepad, you want to change the height to um, how tall it is. Which in an ultra wide mon for an ultra wide monitor, it would be usually the smaller one. For me, it's 1080. And for the width, it's 2560, as shown in the um, resolution. So, once you do this, you press File and Save. I've already done this previously, so I don't need to save. Now, this will lead the game to probably work straight away. But if you're using mods like Sky UI and other menu or texture mods, sometimes the game work really won't work too well. So, this is where you um, open Flawless Widescreen. So, you click on the program. You can let it to open. It'll want to ask you if you can make changes to your computer because it's actually altering some of the things in the game. Just press yes. It will open and then it tends to restore straight away. So you just open it, go here and press restore. So for Skyrim, what you're actually going to do is you're going to search in the name of the game where it says search for plugins here. Here you would just type in Skyrim and you'd click on it and then all the plugins will install for you and you um, tick using Sky UI. And this will fix the UI menus and things like that to improve the game. So now that you've done that, you can just hop into Steam, you can go to your Skyrim, you can just press play. And when that opens, if you see the options here, it'll have it set to 4x3 or 5x4. That doesn't really matter because a flawless widescreen and your document um, folder will be in charge of that. You can press play on the game. And this will run in um, native 2560 by 1080 in ultra wide. So I'll quickly show you guys how this is going to work. Hello everyone. So we're back, and although my game might be a little laggy at the moment, that's just because I'm running OBS. You can see I'm running it in 2560 by 1080. The game isn't stretched. I can access the menu quite fine. I can see all my items, everything works well, the um, menu fits onto the screen and you can enjoy the game. As you see down the bottom here, there are some like bugs where it cuts off, but unfortunately you're going to have to put up with that. But yeah, that's the tutorial, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it and enjoyed it, and dislike it if you didn't enjoy it, and if you disliked it, um, Please leave some constructive criticism in the comments, I'd really appreciate that. But without further ado, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.